Hi friends, I just wanted to show you the consequences of poor maintenance of tomato plants. Tomato plants are pretty stubborn and easy to grow plants. However, they need some maintenance for better yield. I have three plants in this aero garden harvest. They are done with their first crop and moving on for second crop. I was busy with other stuff and didn't get a chance to take care of these plants. Even though these plants are looking good, I see two issues here. Number one, I see lots of flowers but only a few baby tomatoes. Many flowers are just falling off. So the plants are not as productive as they were before. The second issue is the leggy branches. These branches are outgrown and they are far from the lights. Look at these branches, they are not getting any light. Same issue on this side as well. Branches are far from the lights and they are not getting enough light. All in all, most of the plant is growing outside the lights. The whole purpose of this aero garden is to supply the light constantly to the whole plant. If the plants are going outside the lights, the purpose is defeated. Tomato plants need some maintenance after each crop. The maintenance include trimming the plants, dump the water, clean the bowl and start over with fresh water and nutrition. Once we trim the plants to nearly the base, they develop young growth. We want the young growth from the base of the plant, not from the branches. If I leave the plants as is, they will still produce tomatoes, but the yield is going to be extremely low. Look at these flowers. They bloomed very well and they are drying up, but no tomatoes. Flowers didn't survive, so the whole flower is falling off. I don't want this kind of weak growth and less productivity. I always thrive for success. So I have two options here. Number one, I can trim the plants and look forward for the better growth. Number two, I can take some cuttings from this plant and start over the garden with cuttings. Both work pretty much the same way, but I prefer to start with cuttings. So I will go with number two. I see lots of fresh growth on all the plants. So I will take some of these cuttings and start over the garden. Any cuttings work, however, take the cuttings from fresh growth. Preferably no flowers yet on the branches. Cuttings from fresh growth establish fast and develop better. Alright, I have a bunch of cuttings ready. Now I am going to transplant these cuttings. We might place the cuttings directly in the pot basket, but I prefer to give some support to stay well in the baskets. We can use the normal sponges, but I found that the rock wool is very economical for this purpose. I have these 1.5 inch rock wool cubes. This is not going to fit into the basket, so I am cutting it into 4 pieces. Now I am making a hole in the center. Then stick the cuttings into the rock wool, place them into the pot basket and finally place the pots into the aero garden. It is so easy and fast. I am repeating the same for other cuttings. Alright, now I have 6 cuttings in the same aero garden. My plan is to go with only 2 plants, but it is summer time and I need to prepare some plants for my outside gardening. So I will take out these plants once they are well established and keep only 2 plants in this garden eventually. It's been 20 days since I placed the cuttings. They are well established. I already moved 2 plants to soil. I still have 4 plants. I will move 2 more plants pretty soon. I see some of these plants already started flowering. Cuttings are that fast. Much faster than starting from seeds. So the bottom line is, tomato plants need maintenance for better yield. If you miss it the opportunity for some reason, it is not the end of the world. If you suspect the productivity of the plants, then trim the plants deeply or start a new generation from the cuttings. Never let branches go out of control. You will be amazed with the results. Never think that the plants already have lots of growth and don't hesitate to trim them. 
Trimming the plants only help increase the productivity. Of course, better try to do it on time. That is all for now. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.